Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Kids Me, and I am back again with another video. I know it's been a long time since I've shown a braidless crochet hairstyle, so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. As you can see, here we are all up close and personal. This part, y'all, like, look how realistic this part looks. I'm gonna be showing y'all exactly how I got that invisible part look in this video. So here you can see that my hair is brushed back into a ponytail. I love doing the braidless crochets because your girl is a part of Struggle Braiding University. I'm always struggling with my braids, especially when I have on nails. So I love that I can just grab a wig cap like this. So the one that I'm gonna be using, of course, I'm popping up on the screen. This wig cap does have three combs in it. I didn't use the combs um, inside of the cap but if you want to stick them inside of your hair, you can for extra security. I just decided not to uh, for this particular style. It would help because we are going to cut the cap once we get to the part area. The hair that we're going to be using is going to be from Trendy Tresses. It's so funny because I've had this hair for maybe like two years just sitting in my closet, but this is going to be their Nubian Curls hair. I did only use two packs and the hair is in 16 inches, but I did cut the hair in half. Starting with the crocheting in the back, I did use a full piece of hair for all of the back section. I did not split the hair at all. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stick your latch hook through the actual cap in your hair to anchor your hair, um, to anchor the cap down. I suggest that around the perimeter of your head and around the ponytail area, I suggest that you stick the latch hook through the cap in, underneath your hair and then you're gonna pull it through and you're gonna tie it twice. Now this hair, I could definitely say, is a silky texture. So you're gonna see me kinda pull on the hair a little bit. I, I'm telling you, I am not damaging my hair at all, but because this hair is silky, I just wanna make sure the knot is actually fully secured um, when I get done crocheting the hair in. Now again, for the complete back section in the middle section of my hair, I did not split the hair at all and I use one pack for the back in the middle section and half a pack for the front. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm gonna show you over and over again. It's gonna kind of get repetitive and then we're gonna move on to the invisible part. And here we are getting closer to the top. You wanna to make sure that you're anchoring the hair around the perimeter of your head because we're about to get ready to actually cut the actual cap down the middle. Now, um, most people would go ahead, if you can't see your actual parting through the cap, then I would suggest that you go ahead and just mark it with like some concealer or maybe if you had like a white um, eyeliner or something like that but just go ahead and mark it so you'll know exactly um, where to actually cut at but as you can see here I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the top portion of the hair and I'm gonna try to get as close to the part as possible I'm still using the same technique that I used in the previous clips that I showed you on the back section in the middle section of the hair So once we filled up that portion, we're gonna go ahead and take our scissors and cut. Now, when I first cut, I was out of frame, but I promise you I didn't do anything besides just cut. 
And so here you'll, you'll see the actual elastic around the wig cap. I am going to cut that off around the size so that it isn't visible. And here you'll see me cutting some of the excess cap away as well. And here is where the technique comes. So you just wanna take small, small pieces of hair. You want to, instead of pulling both pieces of the ends through, you're only going to pull one piece through tie it twice and it's gonna give you that invisible look. Now the key to this is using small pieces of the hair and sticking the latch hook through a small piece of your natural hair as well. Then you're just going to repeat the steps. So you're going to pull it through. You're going to only take one of the sides, pull it through the loop and then tie it twice. Pull on it to secure the knot and then there you have the invisible part look and i know y'all my edges are looking crazy but i promise you i'm gonna show you well i'm gonna tell you exactly how i got my natural hair to lay down and for everything to blend together so just keep watching i promise you i got you And so this is the finished look. If you decide that you don't want to go ahead and sleek your hair down, you don't have to, but if you're like me, then you're gonna go for this. <laughs> I went ahead and I used some edge control. I'm gonna pop the products on the screen that I use, but I used some edge control, got to be glue styling gel, as well as some mousse to hold the hair down. Now the mousse was the only thing I used on the hair. And then of course, uh, the edge control and the got to be glue was what I put on my edges to slick it down and you know, get them looking all in formation and looking good. So yeah, y'all, I'm loving this style. I'm always going for the short hair looks. I feel like they're easier to manage, especially with the braidless crochet. So y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this. Y'all definitely have to try this method. There's nothing like creating a style like this because it's chic, it's affordable, and it's just a go-to style. So thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.